Hello fellow Minecraft parents, this is Palumbo here, uh, and I'm going to show you in this video how to do a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to show you how to do a, a clean uninstall reinstall of Minecraft if you uh, run into trouble, specifically when Minecraft keeps crashing when you're trying to open it. And then I'm also going to show you how to install Minecraft Forge 1.6.4 for Mac OS X running 10.9. And if you're not familiar with Forge, Forge is a platform on which you can install a number of other mods or modifications to Minecraft, which in some cases make it almost like a completely different game. And if your kids are anything like my kids, they're always looking at what mods are out there and they're always wanting to experiment with how you can augment and customize their Minecraft experience. So let's start off, first of all, by, uh, let me show you exactly how you would go about doing sort of an uninstall, reinstall, for Minecraft, because it's actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Uh, so first of all, what I'm going to do is we need to go find the Minecraft folder, which is um, hidden away a little bit in the system files. So on Mac OS X, we're going to go ahead and open up Finder. So I'm going to go ahead and click it right here. And there's a, a neat little feature that you can uh, you can invoke, and it's by pressing the Command Shift G button, and it gives you this go to folder. Uh, dialog screen where you can just type in the Unix directory path directly to the directory that you need to go to. So in this case, it's already in there, but let's go ahead and just revisit what I typed. Uh, tilde, which is the little squiggly line that lives right above the tab key, you have to hold shift when you press it. Tilde is the Unix shorthand for your home directory. So that just says for the user that I'm logged in as right now, I want to go in that home directory. We're going to type slash and it's going to be a library. And here's a neat little trick. Uh, and Unix tab completion is a big thing. So I don't even have to type the entire word. I can just hit tab. Uh, we need to go into the application support directory. So I can just type uppercase app tab and uh, enter. And in here, I need to find the Minecraft folder. And so this Minecraft uh, folder has some mods in there. And one of them of which is, is uh, apparently giving me some trouble. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it outside and onto my desktop. You can actually go ahead and just delete it directly from this location. However, kind of best practices for IT troubleshooting says uh, don't necessarily delete a directory until you're sure that that really is the problem. So in this case, dragging it to your desktop will take it out of the equation for right now. If that's not the problem or if you need something in there back where it was, you can simply just drag it back. But now that it's outside of the application support directory, when I launch Minecraft now, it is going to be like I've launched it for the very first time after I've installed it. And uh, we need to do this before we can install Minecraft Forge because it needs to run at least once in version 1.6.4. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I need to log in first. So let me put in my credentials. And what I need to do is, so right now the current version of Minecraft is 1.7.4, but for Forge, it's running a few versions behind. So what I need to do is, is right here where it says profile, I'm going to edit profile, and where it says use, ver use version, I'm going to click on use latest version, and I'm going to go down and I'm going to select release 1.6.4. I'm going to save the profile and then I'm going to click on play. And what it's going to do is it's going to launch the game for the first time and it's going to create some new directories uh, that are probably going to need to be there in order for Forge to properly install itself. And this may take a little bit of time. So now that we are uh, using Minecraft 1.6.4, I actually do have to log in and kind of start playing the game. So I'm going to create a new world. Uh, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and put create new world. And I just need to go ahead and get into the game one time. And then I can just turn around and log right back, right back out. So save and quit to, uh, to title, and I can close that. Great. So now we're ready to go and download Minecraft Forge. Now to download Minecraft Forge, probably the easiest thing to do is just to Google Minecraft Forge. And it's the first hit here. It's uh, Minecraft Forge download. So let's click on that. Now there's a ton of versions here. And uh, I, I have played around with a couple of them. And I am going to recommend what they recommend, which is the 1.6.4. So far as from what I can see, that is uh, the most stable um, and the easiest one to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just click on the installer right here. Now, here's something about downloading mods and uh, anything having to do with, with Minecraft that I'm really not a big fan of as a parent. Uh, this stupid AdFly page is horrible. Um, now, I have AdBlock installed on Chrome right now. But if I didn't, this would this main part of the of the uh, browser here would look like that's where I need to click, and it's really an advertisement. 
Um, now, for some reason, it keeps giving me this weird error when I first click on it, but when I click on the second time, it works. Uh, what you need to do is actually look up in this upper right-hand corner where it says, please wait, uh, and you have to wait for this countdown, and then click on skip ad. Uh, and as I said, if I didn't have ad block running right now in the main part of the browser, there would be something on there that looks like it's the legitimate place to click on to get this particular download, but I assure you it is not. Wait the five seconds and then click on skip ad. And once I do that, it will go ahead and offer to download the uh, jar file that we need. And once you get the jar file, uh, just click on that. And that's gonna go ahead and run. And keep in mind, we, in, we downloaded the installer. And so you get this nice little dialog. And this is actually really convenient. You have the, ver the option of installing the client, the server, or just extracting all the files if you wanted to do everything manually. You just need to install the client. So we'll leave that there and click OK. It actually takes only about 30, 45 seconds for it to install. And then you'll get a message letting you know that it has successfully installed. Okay, so Minecraft Forge is now successfully installed. We're gonna click on OK there, and we can also get rid of Chrome. Now, let me show you, now that it's installed, there's something special you have to do the next time you, uh, you start up Minecraft. So let's go ahead and go back to Minecraft. And you need to uh, go down here to where it says profile. Now my normal profile is, is Palumbo underscore dad, but if you click on here, there's gonna be another one that says Forge. Now, what Forge has basically done, oh, and it does require you to uh, authenticate again, so let me do that. So if you look here, you don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on Edit Profile. I wanna show you exactly what it's doing here. Remember the first time I had to go and change it from use latest version to use 1.6.4? Well, so in this case, the Forge profile is going to pre-select this new Forge version. Uh, which is the the version that uh, is a platform for installing and running modifications. So you need to make sure that that is, in, that is selected and it should be selected by default uh, when you select the Forge profile. So now that the Forge profile is selected, I can click on play again. And this time when the Minecraft um, menu comes up, we should have some new information on there that tells us it's running this new platform. So right here, you have single player, multiplayer, and then you have a button for mods. And any mods that you have installed on Minecraft at this point are gonna show up here. And you can click on them and get information about them, the versioning, things of that nature. Uh, this goes for texture packs and a number and maps and, and, and things of that nature. You can click on done. And then also here in the lower left-hand corner, it also gives you some information about the version of Forge you have running and how many mods you have loaded, how many mods you have active. And uh, at, that, at this point, it is pretty quick and easy to download mods uh, and get them installed. Uh, it can be sometimes a little tricky uh, to get the files downloaded, um, but that is how you install uh, Minecraft Forge. And uh, in the next video that I plan to do, I'm going to show you how I would actually go and install uh, a mod into Minecraft um, now that Forge is installed. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I will answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you very much.